Taipei City has banned the use of short-term rental properties as quarantine hotels, citing the risk of community infection. At a press conference on Monday, Taipei officials said a crackdown will start September 22nd. Property owners found offering short-term rentals for quarantine purposes could face fines of up to 15,000 NT. On August 14th, Taipei councillors led city officials and members of the press on a raid in Xinyi district. They received a tip that apartments were being rented out illegally to foreign visitors for use as quarantine hotels. Since mid-March, about 11 people in four groups stayed in this apartment for their mandatory quarantine. There is waste disposal, meal deliveries, the doorbells, the staircase. There are public health standards governing these things. Locals found out about these guests only after the fact. Could this not be a loophole in our line of defense against community spread? According to current regulations, new arrivals must quarantine in their own home or in a designated quarantine hotel. In August, the Taipei mayor asked the central government to crack down on short-term rentals being used as quarantine hotels. People who run short-term rentals haven't had comprehensive training, so there could be shortcomings in their epidemic prevention practices. They allow the mixing of normal residents with new arrivals. It's a very big problem. So this is a point the central government has to address. At the time, the Central Epidemic Command Center didn't give a clear response. Now Taipei City has taken the matter into its own hands. Joined by three department heads at a press conference, Taipei Deputy Mayor Huang Shanshan announced Taipei's new public health rules for short-term rentals. Let's not let short-term rentals undermine our public health efforts. To this day, the central government has not yet been willing to give a straight answer on whether this practice is punishable. After the notice period ends, if you aren't quarantining in a Taipei quarantine hotel or at a relative's or friend's house provided to you for free, we will issue fines in accordance with the Communicable Disease Control Act. The grace period expires on September 22nd. Before then, the city's Department of Civil Affairs and Police will investigate short-term rentals and have their guests relocate to quarantine hotels. After September 22nd, people renting out rooms for quarantine purposes can be fined up to 15,000 NT. Their name and their rental property will also be released to the public.